All right, so for today's 164 scale review, we are going to be taking a look at the Greenlight International Duristar flatbed truck. I believe this is part of the uh, Heavy Haul series. Uh, this is the one in the Golf Library. Uh, as you've seen my other videos, you've seen that I have a couple other Golf uh, vehicles, and I wanted to add this one to my fleet as well. Uh, here's everything it comes with. It comes with this little guy, and it comes with a gas pump. Um, so we can move the truck out of the way, and we take a look at these guys first. Uh, so here's the guy. Uh, you can see he's got a nice golf decal right there, tampo on his jacket. Uh, he he does, when you do stand off, he does look like he's kind of leaning backwards. I'm not sure if that's just mine or if that's how he's supposed to be, but it does look a little odd. I'm just moving him out of the way. Bring in the gas pump. It's a golf gas pump, obviously. Uh, you can see it's got some nice tampos right here and right here. Uh, I can't really make out what it says but i'm guessing it's telling you how much gas uh it would be pumped uh, and you do have a nice simulated hose right here uh, but there's the gas pump itself so we'll take those out of the shot and then we'll bring the truck back in so here's the truck it's like every other international durastar that first gear has released with the flatbed on it the flatbed doesn't work uh, mine's a little loose uh, it does have a nice simulated light bar uh, nice chrome mirrors and the tampos on it are very nice. You can see the golf tampo right there. Uh, there's the golf tampo on the hood. And then I, along with this, uh, the one on this driver's side as well. And you do have the orange stripe that is on almost every golf oil uh, thing that Greenlight has released. And every golf oil car out there, they all have the orange stripe. Uh, but you can see you got some nice painted uh, lights as well. Uh, you, do have a, you actually do have an international decal. It's uh, very hard. Uh, it's very small and hard to uh, make out, but it is there. You do have a nice grill, and then you do have some nice headlights as well. Uh, you do have some nice chrome work on here as well. So this is simulate your toolboxes. Um, you can see more right there. And then here is the flatbed itself, painted in blue. It's big enough to put one car on. Uh, the one thing I really do wish Greenlight would do is make the uh, back lift work. Uh, but obviously if they were to do that it would make the model go up in price uh, but here it is uh, with the golf nissan gtr made by green light as well uh, it, it does look good towing a car uh, this is how i display it uh, on my shelf and i like it a lot uh, it's an overall it's a nice model um not really too much to say about it uh, since first gear or uh, green light has released uh, plenty of these before part of the heavy haul series uh, i know it says it's limited edition i have number 2249 i'm not sure how many are in the edition uh, but it does say it's under license it's a 2013 international durastar uh, truck and i believe it's the same as the ones that are out now i don't believe there's much difference uh from the 2013 and 2016 or whatever they have out right now uh, but you do have a nice simulated winch doesn't work uh, it's just part of the uh, bed casting, uh, but I would like to see maybe it, uh, if they were to maybe re redesign the um, the flatbed. I would like to see the back work. Uh, it would be nice, but that's just kind of about it for this review. I'm sure there's plenty of other reviews that go over this model way more in depth than I do. Uh, but that's just kind of why I've made the video short because I know there's a bunch of other collectors that have these uh, and that have made plenty of other reviews and there's plenty of plenty of these models out there i like the golf racing so that's why i picked this one up um but i would recommend picking it up if you want to collect every green light that's out or if you're just a golf racing fan in general all right that's it for this review so if uh, you like the content please subscribe i'm going to try to upload a video every week for 164th uh, scale stuff uh, but yeah Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded.